We begin tonight with some continuing coverage on that body camera footage that was released from the two Buffalo police officers who shot and killed 58 year old Edward Holmes on Saturday. In the footage, you can see the officers fire 20 rounds at Holmes after he first fired at the officers. Good evening, everyone. I'm Mary Alice Demler. And I'm Scott Levin. Tonight, to on your sides, Andy Payton took some tough questions to the department to find out if this use of force was justifiable. He joins us now live from outside police headquarters with their answers. Andy? Scott and Mary Alice, that's right. Tonight, Buffalo police here at police headquarters tell us that they have determined this was a suicide by cop situation. Tonight, Buffalo police releasing the body cam footage of the two officers who shot and killed 58 year old Edward Holmes Saturday morning. Put it down. The footage taken off officers Andrew Lewis and Joshua Slapinski, who are now on mandatory administrative leave shows Holmes fire towards the officers. The officers then shouting at Holmes to drop his weapon drop the gun. before firing 20 rounds back. Killing him at the scene. It absolutely was justified. To hear 20 rounds, is 20 rounds a justifiable response? I know there's some talk out there, you know, you shoot somebody in the leg, shoot somebody in the arm. It, it, you're taught to shoot center mass and shoot to end the threat. 911, where is your emergency? Buffalo PD also releasing the 911 call. We got out there with a shotgun. That officials say they have confirmed is Holmes calling authorities on himself and referring to himself in the third person. We just have anybody pull up on him, he's going to shoot at him. Have you ruled out the possibility that this is a suicide attempt? So. I think we've come to the conclusion that this was most likely a suicide by cop situation. A situation still sparking outrage tonight by many, with Buffalo Common Councilwoman Leah Holton Pope saying in a statement, quote, watching the body cam footage, the absence of de-escalation efforts by Buffalo police is glaring. I think they did the absolute best that they could and with their training that they have. But Buffalo's police commissioner standing by the actions of his officers, urging the public to understand this was not a mental health call. The way that this unfolded, this was a gun call, and this is how numerous gun calls come in. Now, we attempted to reach out to Councilwoman Holton Pope for further comment, but she declined our interview request. A spokesperson for the Councilwoman tells us she has been in contact with the police commissioner, though. Meanwhile, tonight we have also learned that the mandatory investigation conducted by the state's attorney general's office has officially launched. Junior Sides Claudine Ewing continues our team coverage with late details.